That, you know, there's a song of yours that really pulls together your playing and your producing and your singing and your writing and uh -huh. uh, it's Dark Feelings. And I, oh, let's yeah. play a little of Dark Feelings now. Did you produce that? Yeah, I produced it. Okay. Yeah, all my songs I, I produced, engineered, like everything. So it's <laughs> you blow me away. <laughs> I hate people like you that can do everything. Right? No, <laughs> Actually, I love people like you. Thank you. Um, when you produce a song like that, uh -huh. uh, and that song's kind of unique, and uh -huh. it, it's almost classic in, in uh -huh. some ways, uh, is it hard to get the balance right between the, the, the music and the powerful emotions without losing that tempo? Yeah, I I think it's all a matter of like dynamics and like having like the balance, like the the right balance, like between yeah, like uh, the tempo and like for example the melodies that are, that the synths are playing and like the effects, uh, filters, like even the vocal effects, like everything because it's kind of creating an atmosphere like for the main thing, and yeah, and like what you were mentioning, like dark feelings has a very like classical like background to it, especially like in the drop, like the lead synth that I was playing, like it came actually like I was playing piano and like playing melodies and it was like, oh, that sounds like really nice in that and like I'm gonna use it for that. Um, but yeah, I, f I feel it's all a matter of like balancing and like having the right balance and like, um, yeah, kind of feeling like it's steady, like into terms of dynamics to know, okay, everything sounds in the right place and it sounds clean too. Like I like things that that sound like very clean. And you know, I listened to that, everyone in the studio listened to that uh -huh. many, many times and we stopped it and went back and listened again uh -huh. and we were really amazed at how well you were able to pull that balance off. Oh, thank you. That's not an easy thing to thank do. You. Um, I also watched a lot of videos of you drumming. Uh -huh. um, you're kind of volcanic. You remind me of Veronica Bellino when she plays the Halo Circus on uh -huh. her back. Um, and, and looking at your face when you drum, it looks like you really love to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I feel like I'm, like when I'm always playing like any instrument, it's so funny to see like the faces I make because, yeah, for example, with drums, like I feel I'm just feeling the power like of the drum sticks and hitting it like in my face. But then, yeah, like when I'm playing guitar, like I'm super into it and I'm kind of like making a phase of like being 100% like concentrated like into the solos I'm playing. So, yeah, I feel like it's also a translation like of the feeling I'm getting like from the instrument like into my facial expression. Well, it shows. It, it oh, looks like you're you. really satisfied yeah, with exactly. doing that. Uh, we're almost out of time. Uh, I do want to get in one more song, but also one more question. You live in L.A. now. Yeah. Uh, what brought you to LA and has LA changed your music at all? Yeah, well I actually like I had like this kind of idea of like coming to LA like for this year like especially after last year that I was touring with Justin Bieber and like playing also like in Europe for a summer tour it was like okay like I kind of like already accomplished this but I want to reach like the next level and I felt like okay getting maybe like to LA will be that next level and then this year, Roland, um, who are my endorsers, they invited me to the NAMM show and they told me like, we're bringing you here and it was like, this is the right moment like to move to LA, like they're bringing me here. So it's the time like to look for an apartment and everything. And I really feel like it was the right choice because like since I got here, like so many more opportunities have opened for me, like even like from connecting with people, from peers, of the industry, um, from getting new jobs of production for other artists such as, for example, Alan Walker, I made a song for him, and recently uh, a DJ named Alok, I also made a song for him, and even like Latin acts, for example, for Prince Royce, for um, Sofia Reyes, and I also feel like that way, like that has kind of like evolved my sound as well, because it has allowed me like to really play and expand like the sounds I had inside but that I wouldn't use like for myself like to use it like to use them like for other people and like listening like to everything that LA has to offer and especially like the huge like diversity that there's in LA and like having yeah like Asian things but then also like a lot of Latin things and like yeah like even from Russia Armenia like it's so cool like to get into that 
So I feel like that really nurtured like my way of seeing my own music, and I feel that, that even like my new single that will be coming out like in around a month has that kind of like new LA vibe to it. So yeah, Yay. people will notice. <laughs> Yay! Because it's my hometown. I love uh -huh. to hear people say things like that. Well, we've got time for one more song. Awesome. I'm gonna play uh, Sexto Sentido. Sexto Sentido, do you have a sixth sense? Yeah, I think we all have it. It's a matter of developing it. And yeah, I feel mine is more musical, so that's why that's the name. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we are pretty much out of time, but I do have one last question. Aside from the Grammy that I know you're gonna be presented with someday, do uh, you have any interesting things coming up, any new challenges, any things in your back pocket you want to take on, something different? Um, well, I actually have a new projects, of especially um, like making music for film, for TV. Um, I recently made a song for Nickelodeon, so that's really exciting for a new TV series. Um, I also have new projects, new releases. Uh, one of them is going to be on Spinning Records, which is a very famous label in electronic music. It's like the most important one. And that's going to be next month. So yeah, it's going to be like super exciting. And I also have a couple of stuff coming that I can't mention yet, but you're going to know. It's really, really big and like with artists that I really admire, it's going to be in Nashville. So yeah, I'm super excited for you guys to know about it. So yeah, stay tuned because I can say it right now, but <laughs> eventually you'll know. I'm looking forward to that, uh -huh. particularly a woman in Nashville. That's yeah. going to be very interesting. Yeah, okay. exactly. Well, like I say, when that happens, please let us know and we'll come and talk thank about you. it here on Music awesome. Friday Live. In the meantime, thank you so much for taking the time out this morning. I know you're a busy girl and we really appreciate it. Oh, I really enjoyed it. It was the best time spent ever.